I did not have funds for the rest of the trip. I was really depressed when I heard Francesco thought they were retiring. It was the only chance that could have led him to Totti. I don't know when transition happened that from an admirer of Francesco Totti, I became a full-fledged AS Roma fan. thinking like I'll add him to my Facebook and when I checked he was already married. I was like what? So <laughs> it was like he's married to Roma and I could not connect that this Roma could be his football club. Uh, it was the Euro 2000s where I first saw Francesco Totti play and I really admired the way that he played his uh, flicks, his passes, his subtle touches, powerful shots and chips. It just caught my eye. I found out that Francesco Totti was playing for Roma. Once I was hooked onto it, I knew that you know I I belong to AS Roma. I was going to become a Romanista for life. You know. I've always seen him associated with Roma, from his Facebook like status to now, whatever it has been, right? So Roma is his first love. So I was in a date, like you know, it was a blind date, first date. And there was a Roma game happening and I had completely forgotten about it that it would clash. I was just checking my phone constantly. I would just like, you know, take breaks in between and go to the restroom or just go out and uh, just check the score update and then come back. Well, I never got a second date, so... <laughs> We have luck. Not luck. Because in my area, nobody knew also about Roma. We said I'm supporting this club and used to watch their matches alone because nobody else knew about Roma. In the recent game when uh, Roma won over Chelsea, so every time Roma scored, this guy like started jumping and all. And I got a little bit pissed. I started pushing him around. I said, okay, come on, you scored, I know, but it doesn't mean to show off. This was about bragging rights at home. Roma just thrashed Chelsea. We beat Chelsea 3-0 and I have the bragging right at home. So my brother is just, he can't say anything to me. Uh, Francesco thought he was retiring in the first week of May. That's the news that we came to know. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I had to go. So I came back from work and I see him, you know, like um, he's very depressed, sitting at the dining table and he's like, everything is over. So like, what is over? What happened? It's so like, no, Totti is retiring and he's very upset. He, he was literally in tears, you know, just, it was just not rolling off, but he was literally in tears. So it was the only chance that could have led him to Totti. I booked tickets to a third party agent. Post that, I found out that there was a huge waiting on the visa. So I wrote to the, the embassy here in India, requested them. And uh, the following Monday, I got a call from them and uh, basically, that expedited my process. They read my email, and you know they said that you can come down, you know, for the interview and submit your documents. So I got the visa in two days, basically. But later on, the third party agent sent me wrong tickets. So I was going to Rome now, but I had no match tickets. For him, it was lifetime dream. Meaning, I have never seen him with any other dream. It has been Roma, and for Roma, it is because of Totti. I was determined to sort of, you know, go go to Rome, land over there and, you know, probably go and, you know, check out some other sources to get tickets. I knew that I was going to, you know, get to the game, come, you know, by hook or by crook. I really wanted him to experience that for himself. Finally, they opened the gates and all of us just ran inside and I was like among the first to run inside. A couple of years ago, I co-founded the AS Roma India page on Facebook and from then till now, we have about 4,000 followers on Facebook. The official club handle follows us. They retweet some of our good content. I don't think even Roma markets themselves as much as Ajay does for them in India. 
I think you know I'm lucky to have her because you know she sort of you know supports me.